Next question comes from Tara. Can you ensure that the Canada-US border remains closed and stop all air travel coming from the USA into Canada? Now, Tara, that's a good question. I actually get lots of questions on both sides. Some people saying, reopen the border, I wanna go visit my family, and I wanna go across the border to uh, visit uh, or see what my property is like in Arizona, in Florida, because there are many Canadians who are on both sides. Um, so, Tara, it, the border is closed till August 21st, 2020. That negotiation with the government of the United States will happen at that point. Uh, I know I see the same numbers you do. Uh, the government of America, so the United States government, is testing way more people than any other Western government in the world right now, which is why their caseload is so much bigger. The more you test, the more cases you will find. That's simply the way it is. Um, in order for a U.S. citizen or other foreign national who's not an immediate family member of a Canadian citizen or permanent resident to enter Canada from the United States, they have to be uh, asymptomatic, so not coughing, sneezing, any of that at the border. Uh, their entry must not be for a purpose that is optional or discretionary, so no tourists, no visiting. Uh, you can be traveling to Alaska and CBC officers obviously have a lot of leeway in deciding whether you're entering Canada with a good reason for it. And they also have to comply with the requirement to quarantine based on the purpose of travel, intended length of stay, if required to do so under the ordering council that was passed. So Tara, one of the things that's really important to remember here is a lot of Canadians who cross the border every single day to work in America, nurses, EMS, doctors, construction workers. I have businesses in the riding who you know ship equipment that require a person to go along with the equipment. Sometimes it's aircraft as well. If we close the border to America entirely, they will close the border entirely to these Canadians who will lose their livelihoods. And the Canadian government simply cannot underwrite the entire free economy in Canada. Uh, our economies with the, with the Americans are so deeply intertwined, it would put a lot of people's livelihoods at risk. And there is a reasonable way to get this done where we only ensure basic travel happens. And I want to see more of the border actually open. So Tara, we're gonna to have to disagree on this. I actually want more flights to resume, more repatriation flights and more essential flights to resume. Um, I think it's time to start reopening things. Otherwise, more pilots, more stewardesses will continue to lose their jobs with our ma major airline carriers. And at a certain point, we have to accept that uh, cases of COVID-19 will continue to rise. And the key is not the number of cases, as you mentioned in your email. I'm gonna, I'm gonna disagree with one other point. The key is not the number of cases. The key is the number of cases that wind up in the ICU. We cannot overwhelm a healthcare system. And there's absolutely no indication that's happening right now. Um, so it's not the number of cases you should be looking at, it's the number of ICU hospitalization. And then we have about 1,100 beds available in Alberta and I haven't seen it being overwhelmed in any way. So I just want to caution you on that. It's not the cases that matter the most.